I'm Glenn Hughes, I'm here again to say hi to everybody and introduce you to my Orange Crush Bass 50 Signature Amplifier. And here we go. People always ask me about, because they know about my voice, people know about the voice, you know. <laughs> But some people don't really know that I'm playing bass. You know, I, I, I mean, a lot of people do, but some people don't know. And it's important for people to know that I feel really comfortable standing up and playing the bass guitar. It's, it's everything to me. Well, you know, here I am playing with the, the game pretty much on 70%. Uh, it's the Glenn sound, uh, it's, it's how I, I like the gain, I like to have sustain. And when I roll that off, you know, it, it's... You know. Clean. And simple. combination of in between for me it's either full grind or it's none at all so this is the way I've always operated you know sort of either or The sound for me is exactly what I wanted. It's got the aggression and the grind and all the things I love about the kind of bass playing I love. I've chosen the Orange Cross 50, not in orange, of course, it's in purple. Uh, yes, I was in deep purple, as you know, but the color purple to me means a lot. It's, it is a spiritual color. Um, it resonates with me deeply. I've always loved the color purple taking it out of the box and unwrapping it was a, a glorious gift to me. So, going all the way back, of course I was born in the United Kingdom as you probably know. I've known Orange for decades and decades and decades. Uh, the sound, the look, the vibe, the feel, everything. Iconic for me. I had met Cliff a long time ago, but he came into the forefront when I went over to Orange 11 years ago at Nam, and we became friends again. And I was just very fortunate to find myself back with a company I'd always admired. And Cliff is a wonderful human being. I was taken back with the sound that I'd heard all those years ago when I was using other equipment. And it was the sound I felt I was coming home to. Um, and it was a, a moment for me where the lights went on for me all the way around and having that sound, I wanted to go back to. And uh, I was very fortunate to meet Cliff and the gang and here I am playing and, and exactly the way I want to play and the sound I really want. I think with the 50, it gives you enough bottom and top and it gives you exactly what you need. Now, I'm gonna be using this at home and in my studio and you know, I'm gonna record with this amplifier on the next sessions I do. When I'm writing in my studio, um, I write pretty quickly and I've always got a guitar or bass guitar wrapped around my shoulder. I don't just write for a specific album I'm working on. Um, I find myself upstairs in my studio all, all the time. I'm there every day doing something. I, I gotta commit to doing this. Uh, it's something that I love to do. Music is my life. It is the center of my universe. By the way, I'm still studying bass guitar. I'm still studying music and still studying life as we speak at this present moment. So I'm still learning about all of it. So I continually try and stay in the present moment and try to learn, continually learn how to become a better musician. It's so important to me. And songwriting is the key factor. When writing a song and 
going into pre-production or demoing, I'm always thinking, I gotta sing this live. You know, I like to write songs that are gonna go to the stage. So when I'm actually writing something and I'm actually singing it, coming up with a lyric or melody, can I do this? Can I actually do this in the live setting? So that's a really key factor for me. Can I actually reproduce this when I go and sing live? There's nobody behind the curtain singing for me, so I'm gonna be doing it myself. Along with this one, I use the AD200 and the Terra bass amps. Oh my God, you see me working with those. So those two amps are vital to me. I use both on stage because I'm crazy. So it's a significant sound for me. It's important for me to have a rig that is, is worthy, number one, as a sound. Number two, how does it look like? And is it going to be looking mega and stuff like that? I think the answer to the question, oh, check the boxes, all of it. So for me to have a rig that looks and sounds great is important. I think people expect that from me at this point. So it's, it's my job to, uh, to show up uh, and suit up doing just that. For those of you that don't know, I'm in a band called The Dead Daisies, um, an Australian, British, American rock band. It's a great new band for me. The band have been playing together for five or six years and I'm the new guy. The album is called Holy Ground, doing really well. And uh, I'm here to please. So we're gonna keep making rock and roll music in the classic rock genre. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you get to check out the Glen Hughes Signature Orange Crush Base 50 amp. I'll see you soon on the road. Peace and love.